And so this is a review for Mary Mary season, was it season five or whatever? Episode three. So here's the thing with Mary Mary. I'm not going to go scene by scene because that's completely unnecessary with this show. This is how it's going to turn out. We have Warren who has this issue of he owes Sony seven figures, over seven figures. Why? Because Mary Mary took an, ad an advance on for their uh, newest album that isn't out yet, that hasn't been recorded yet. And so that money has to be paid back since Tina doesn't want to do anything Mary Mary related as far as an album. Maybe a show here or there, but that's it. And that's pissing off Warren because it's like, damn it, that's my responsibility to handle. And Tina, because she's not playing ball, because I don't want to tell her because then my wife will know and then she'll be stressed and it'll mess up the current things that she's trying to do. I am not going to say anything. And I'm like, Warren... That's all well and good, but you're actually thinking of mortgaging your house and your uh, the recording studio, the, the property. Oh, Lord Jesus, no, 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 no. Take out a second loan on these businesses. No, you have to swallow that pride because it's not working. It's not working. It, it's not working, man. It's, so aside from that, we have Tina who is falling apart. She is falling apart at the seams because you have... Tina is very high strong. She's high strong. She is selfish. And it's a Tina show. It's the Tina show. And this is the ride. Either you're going to hop on board, get along with it, or get off. And Warren was right when he said, Tina's not someone that when you have a disagreement where it's a real conversation. You talk only because she allows you to talk. Once you stop, she goes and then she won't stop. And that's just how it is. And I'm like, damn, that's so, that's dysfunctional. That is dysfunctional. But Tina was initially freaking out because of course, her, one of her sisters who was actually babysitting was like, look, I promised Erica I would babysit because Erica was like, if you're gonna get Google to style you on tour, I'm gonna get our sister to go and watch my kids. And that's exactly what she did. But the other sister, Tay Tay, was like, you know what, as long as there's some compensation, got you, girl. So Tina was like, thank you, Lord. I prayed and here she is. Here she is. Someone who I can trust and my kids will be good. Hallelujah. Thank you. So there was that. But then, when they actually came to her actual venue to do her performance, everything went to hell. There was people were getting let in because it was 7 o'clock and the show was supposed to start. So they allowed people to come in. And this is a much uh, smaller venue, the church venue. And so it was just like... <sighs> the stage wasn't set up yet, but people were allowed to come in. So Tina was pissed. She was right to be upset, but how she was reacting wasn't. That wasn't going to make things go faster. I don't know why people think that just because you yell and huff and puff, that makes things magically work out. That's not how life works. That's not how life ever worked. Maybe for some people when they're little, but when you're an adult, no, that's not how life works. So she's going and she's bugging out and they're doing everything they can to make it go as quickly as possible because for the church venue, the people who are going to assist them won't come until two hours before the show. Maybe. Gugu is actually there in town with her guy and she's also hosting so she has to visually get herself ready. That causes her to take up more time than she normally would and Erica's pissed and she's yelling at her and she's like, look, I am here. I have options. Do not test me. Do not test me. That's essentially what Google was saying this whole time. She was even telling her boyfriend, I may not be on this tour for the long haul because I can't work with someone like that. And I'm like, Google, you let the monetary factor uh, cloud your judgment. You forgot that you still had to deal with Erica, I mean, Tina, your sister. You forgot about the fact that you still had to deal with Tina and everything that involves, everything that encompasses uh, being around Tina when she's stressed. When she's good, she's amazing. She's like the best person to be around. When she's stressed, 
She doesn't handle it well. She doesn't. That's just honesty. Honestly, she doesn't handle it well. So, the performance went terribly initially because Tina was upset. Initially, she was trying to minister to the people, but then she just started to complain about everything. And so her husband stepped in and saved the day and just started performing. And then that snapped her out of it. And of course, vocally, she was there the whole time. But initially, she was just... She was just so upset, and so she brought out those frustrations out onto uh, their current situation. Erica is actually on the set of, what was it? Saints and Sinners? I think that's what it was called, or whatever it was called. And the great thing about that was, this was her first acting gig, as far as I know. Or maybe it was just a new acting gig, and it came out of the blue, because initially they wanted her to perform to do a song for the show. I'm not sure if it was the theme song or just a song that will be played in a couple of the episodes or whatever, but she also got a little part and she nailed it. She looked amazing and she nailed it. And so shout out to her, but she had a lot more trouble in the recording studio, which is odd because it's like she's an amazing recording gospel artist. So you will have thought she will have had that in the bag. No, this is the first time that she actually hasn't worked with her husband. So it was a new dynamic. She was a little shaken up. And she was also working with one of the best in the industry. And that also made her feel like, oh crap. I have to work three times as hard to sit, make a good impression. Because who knows what can come out of this. And so it took her a while to get it. But she got it done in one take. And I was like, that's how you do it. Uh, after, you know, a bunch of blunders and mishaps, but so shout out to Erica. I really, really, really like Erica in general, and I especially am happy that all the things that went on or in, are still going on in her solo career, how it's just flourished, and shout out to her. I know some people are like, oh, well, you know, she's supposed to be gospel, but she's saying this and she's saying that. She's doing this and doing that and wearing these certain looks. It's like, look, contemporary. Contemporary. As long as it's contemporary, then you can get away with a lot more. So that's what we need to look at Mary Mary and also Tina and Erica as contemporary artist, gospel artist. Was there anything else of note in this particular episode? Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, by the way, because I do a bunch of other reviews. Scandal. Empire. How to get away with murder, uh, everything actually, pretty much everything, yeah. So, let me think, was there anything else that I wanted to touch on that really touched my spirit? Mm, no. Talked about Tina and her antics, talked about Erica and what she has going on for her, talked about Google, oh yeah. That tour bus was really nice. That tour bus was really nice. I was astonished at how nice it was. I was like, wow. Living in a life of luxury. I wonder how much that cost them. But again, it's much cheaper than taking planes or doing all this other stuff. So, I think that's it. Again, please like, comment, subscribe. I doubt that I'm going to regularly do a review for this, but I figure th this episode had enough to where a review was necessary.